The United States Congress is older, whiter, richer, and more male than the public it's supposed to represent. This means we don't get the benefit of new ideas that might come from people with different backgrounds. But it also means that some kinds of people are systematically left out of policy debates, and that might make a difference. For example, my colleague here at Pitt Political Science, Michael McKenzie, researches how our policies toward global climate change might be different if younger people had a say in our policies today. Much of my research focuses on why our political representatives are not more diverse. It turns out the problem comes from who decides to run. Research by Lisa Vesterland here in the Pitt Economics Department shows that women tend to be less competitive than men. And this got my colleague John Woon and me thinking. Might that explain why fewer women run for political office? It turns out it does. We found that women volunteer to perform a task based on their abilities and at a rate equal to men. But if you ask women to run in an election for the same job, they won't, even when they're highly skilled at the job the election is meant to fill. Our system selects people who like to compete, rather than, say, people who like to find creative solutions to problems or to talk through issues to find common ground. And that affects political outcomes. What can we do about it? One way is to ask highly qualified and diverse people to run for office and focus on the aspects of politics that are about helping people and solving problems rather than about competition. How best to do that is a question we'll be researching in the future.